So soft. To do some splattering. So I've got two types of yellow, permanent yellow lemon. They're both Holbein. So a lemon, because the wattle seems to have two yellows in it and the other yellow I have is aureole and yellow and I've already squeezed some of that out into so my I'm palette. I'm going to start with the largest of the set. It's a three quarter. Bit of water and dip it into the brush and then I'm going to use the drumstick method to splatter. Wow, okay, that is freaking fantastic. It was insanely easy to do. Now to make them into little blooms, I'm going to just Ever spray so wistfully and spread the little blossoms. The alternative would be to spray first and splatter into it. And into this splatter of permanent yellow lemon, I'm going to splatter some aureolin, which is an ever so slightly warmer yellow. I've got some beautiful splatter going on there. The um, other, the hard end I'm going to be able to use to do some scratching out, which I'm really looking forward to doing. Little branches that comes out and out, and oh, that one goes over, that one comes down, 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 like that. And then at the end of all of these little branches are all the fabulous little blossomy things. The other brushes I've got ready today are two quills, a flat brush, a little liner. I've got an extra quill over there on the end there. I'm using a ceramic palette and I've already squeezed out some Holbein Aureolin, Holbein Permanent Yellow Lemon and they're the two yellows I've used to splatter. It's a little bit damp. I've also got out some Holbein Burnt Sienna and Holbein Ultramarine Deep. The first thing I'm going to do is mix up a grey green and I've got Ultramarine Deep and I'll put some there and then I'm going to pick up some Oriole and Yellow and it mixes quite a lovely grey green. Those two colours. I'll just swatch it out and check. I like the greyish green. Yeah, it's remarkably close to the wattle leaf. I'll just mix that in a little bit so it's accessible. The page is wet, so that's why it's doing this beautiful soft creep out into the surrounding Um, fibers of the paper. All the um, scratched marks are making really dark areas where my paint goes over it. I kind of quite like it. At first I was a bit disappointed, but now I'm like, ooh, I think that's working to make just interesting marks. Little tiny blossoms that are um, blooms that are unopened and they come down on a greenish branch and then there's a couple of extra little ones poking out behind the leaves there I'm just going to pop one in there well, I 
I quite like that coming down there. I'm just going to cut into the stem though. Add some green. Just do a similar thing out here. So this time I'm going to do the ball balls first, the buds first. Make that one a bit greener. They're not actually green, but they've got just this hint of green in them. I'm just going to pick up some pure paint and drop it over that. Then I'm mm -hmm. going to link them up with the green. I think that's a better way to do it. Bloom first. We are. Okay, I'm going to add a little more detail to that stem there and throw it away, wash them. And then drag some of it that way and again wash some away, wash some away. So I'm going to take some of the burnt sienna and make some little blooms in here. There's actually lots of the blooms that are brown. But they definitely follow branches. It's always fascinating when you paint something and realize something interesting about the structure of it. Mm. Join that up. Join, join, join. I'm just going to put lemon yellow into some of the brown. Just constantly washing my brush at the moment because I'm using yellow. It's the lightest of all the colors. Okay, now I'm going to repeat the process and put another batch over here. Bloom, 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 bloom. seeding mass of yellow towards the end of the branch so this section up here masses of yellow and the blossoms run one to the other to the other but as they get towards the end they become more defined So 
go. This green, how different is it? It's it's really gone to an olive green. So I need to remix that batch of green. So it is ultramarine mixed with aureolin. Need more aureolin. So I think it's a little darker than before. Yeah, but that's all right. The color's still good. And I need some occasional leaves in amongst here. I love that that yellow is running into it. And occasional harm, occasional leaf up here. And just a suggestion of a leaf in there. And a another suggestion. leaf in there. And there's one over there. There's one sticking out up there. And then as they come, as you come down the branch, you get more leaves. Just need to define this area a little bit more, I think. Just going to stare at it for a minute while I decide. Might just use some water, actually some lemon yellow and water, just to soften off those leaves up there so that it looks a little bit like it goes off to nothing. Just soften them, I think. So I just need to define them a little bit more in here and in order to do that I need to dry it. This is the moment in a painting when I start to go, uh-oh, don't think I made the painting better. Here's an update to this painting. I'm going to add in some extra detail. I've still got this beautiful fresh sprig of wattle and it's still looking fabulous. And I thought that I just might improve upon this painting. And recently I purchased these Faber-Castell Gelato. So I thought I would break them out, take out the two yellows and see if I can improve upon the painting. Marion Chapman Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you got anything out of the video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Bye.